Wait, how do we get up here? I'll tell you later. Right now, we need to do... All we, that we need to do is to help Sylvia construct a small house for Kathleen. First off, you're going to need to press right bumper to change from the manage mode to build mode. You're doing wonderful, dear. Perfect! Now, let's see what I'm resources you need. Blah, blah, blah. Highlighted it's, it's small house. There we go. So is that the small house? Yeah. Where do let's, we want to put it? Let us, let us plan this carefully. So that's the festival grounds. How do people get up that hill, though? There's this little ramp here. That's a ramp? So what else do we have? So we have a small an house, inn, an inn, a, a bakery, bakery library, a library, community gardens, flower shop. I guess so what I would do is I would figure out, I think that looks like a place for a special area. Hell, not the library. Not, the library's a little too big. Flower shop, maybe. Bakery, maybe. Inn? I think the, work. the inn would be nice there, yeah. Okay. Well, what, what would, would be another good place for an inn, let's say? I mean, honestly, we should probably put a lot of the services around. Because, like, I know the bakery, for example, we could kind of Tetris in. Here-ish? No. This doesn't have grid placement. No snapping. Now, it looks like you don't even have the resources. Oh, yeah, we do don't have, have the resources anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So um, where do you want your neighborhood to be? Honestly, maybe up here. Well, because I'm wondering, what, what is that? You didn't clear it out. I think it's just a space. Well, can you clear it out first? Kind of like how we have the rocks here. How, how much Myora do we have? Oh, we have 888. Can you stop for a moment? Um, um You can clear out... I I can't. Oh, you can't clear out the withering. What could we clear out then? I so I can I can clear out that withering. The problem is I can't do it right now. We're locked in this tutorial. We have to place this house. Oh. I was thinking of putting her right here. It's okay. kind of a cozy little spot out of the way. That's fine. And gives us plenty of space to put other things. I just want to align it with this back. That's probably close enough. There we go. Now that we've placed a house for our first resident, we should start to expand the town's services. Why not start with an inn that will provide future new arrivals with somewhere cozy to stay while they while they wait for a house? So do you think the inn should be at the top of the hill? Up here? Yeah. Uh, sure. Now, what I could do is potentially rotate it this way. But there wouldn't be enough room for a house, I don't think. Ah, uh, flower shop. Can the flower shop fit? I think the flower shop could fit on the other side. Oh. Or we could just be inefficient with our space and just have the inn up here. Yeah, let's just do it. Let me just align it with the back. Because I bet we get decor. Mm -hmm. Well, look, we got a small house and an inn and a person. How about we smush these things together? Sylvia can assign people to buildings through the manage mode. Houses can be assigned to residents, and shops and other town services can be assigned to employees. We locked the menu while we're in the bu oh, wait. but we've locked the menu while we're in the buildings menu. Buildings, materials, health, and safety. It's all right. Sylvia is just tidying up. When you're ready to, dear, press B to exit out of the menu. Wonderful. Now you can press N to manage mode to build mode. Okay. There we go. So we can move Kathleen there. Assign resident Kathleen. Well done. Let's get Kathleen assigned to the inn. Wait, but she wanted She's to gonna work the inn. Oh, really? All right, remember people need homes before they'll start to help out in town. There's lots of handy information that we can gather in the town planner. Why not have a poke about and explore the town planner at your own pace, dear? When you're ready, press, press B. So we can see what Kathleen thinks of her house. Okay, so I'm going to do that. We're going to try and clear everything out. A house? A house of my own? Perfect. Look, we made her happy. Now she'll be happy forever. We successfully constructed a harmonious town. Mission accomplished. A happy town is an ongoing project, Coppertop. 
You can't just plonk down a few nice buildings and forget about it. That's not the point. Trust, that was my whole plan. We'll need to talk about it with our residents, learn about their wants and needs, and then do our best to provide what they're after. That way, they'll want to stick around. We won't be able to learn everything about a person in one interaction, though. But through regular catch-ups, we'll soon learn what makes them tick. We can also keep track of all this information in the town planner. Oh, another person has arrived. And another. Oh, oh just look at that. More people have arrived. How exciting. Mm -hmm. You should head over and talk to them. Learn a bit about them. And maybe someone will want to move in. The Mulkin. Hello, hello. It's a gorgeous day to be visiting Ilaria. Which, it turns out, is what I'm doing right now. Hmm. So I heard recently opened up a new district in the city under the ever tree. I wanted to see it for myself. I liked this person. Yeah, yeah, I liked their hairstyle. And their outfit. Oh! Wait, Charlotte, we can't really see what they look like. We can see that we're horrified. <laughs> Say now, have you seen the rest of the tour group? I fell asleep on the bus, and now I guess I'm here with you. A lot of people have been talking about the city and the roots of the magic tree. It sounded like something I needed to see, so here I am. We just built this place, like, moments ago. Mm -hmm. There we go. Hail and well met, traveler. What business have you in our fair city? Wait, of Inglenook? Wait, no, um, you live here. I'm just visiting. Hello, hi. About you. So she, her dream job is to be in the bakery. Yep, but I don't think we can invite her. Food, creative, service, wellness, and production. Takes advice from Rubber Duck. Her Quirksar stands a bit too close for comfort. Yeah, so she's not recruitable. Some of these people are visitors. Oh, hey, hi. Uh, 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 ah. I'm just kind of browsing right now, but if I need anything specific, I can, like, come find you, right? Hmm. Never mind, this is freaking me out a bit. Well, time to go grab a p quick power nap before my next spot of sightseeing. We're gonna spend between 20 minutes and 4 hours parked under a shady tree. See ya! I think he was T-posed because he was getting out of the bench. Mm -hmm. Alright, so this is the only character that we can recruit. Oh, okay. Goodness me. A welcoming committee. How perfect. Yes, I'm visiting your lovely city. I'm already having a wonderful time. Yeah. Flower shop. Food, creative, service, wellness, production. You can grab Collect her for now. action figures? Flower shop. We don't have a flower shop yet. Unless you're going to build one. Might as well. Build. I guess we need two things. Well, what does she need? A was it was she fine to stay in the inn or did she need a small house? Can you check what uh, she needed? So they can stay in the inn, but they won't start working until we get them small houses. You know what? Actually, I'm just gonna defer this. We're gonna use all of our resources to clear all of the impediments first. Mm -hmm. We need that space. Let's clean it up. But wait, how can the Everkin clear out the withering? I'm not going to think too hard about it. Mm hmm. We've got this lower area, too. It looks more like a park. Yeah. But I think there's this pile of stones. Yeah, if you see an Everkin here. Mm hmm. They'll probably get rid of the stones. And another one. I think we might not have enough resources. Yeah, we don't have enough Mayora for it. Yeah. So I think I might just leave it here for now. I don't care too much. I don't want to say I don't care too much about the town management, but like we need tons of resources. Will the ever can be done with the buildings the next day yeah, or how many yeah, days it will next take? Day. Oh, okay. Have we done everything we can with the garden? Uh, for the ever tree? No, haven't touched it for the day. Mm -hmm. The days do kind of blend together a little bit, but that's okay. If, uh, if we get rid of all of that withering, how large an area will we have for Alaria? It's going to be a big town. I don't think we're going to have to manage it too much. You know, once you got it built, it's largely self-sufficient, except for finding characters that have quests. Wait, did this island get bigger? Uh, it looks lo longer. Maybe? 
Look at it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, look at it. It gains some extra stuff. Either you've gotten smaller or this world has gotten larger. You haven't gotten smaller, have you, dear? Oh, I believe some of the trees and grasses here are ready for harvest. Just make sure you only take what you need. Yeah, they have some fruits on them. Oh. Oh. You just destroyed all the fruit. It gave me the hammer symbol. Did you... You didn't collect the fruit. How could you? Uh, it gave me the hammer symbol. Okay, well this time... Pick. Abundance yeah. acorn. And you don't want to chop down the tree. I'm going to try chopping one of them. Is this the tree we want to chop? Yeah, I don't know. You yeah. already, you've already taken one plonk out of it. Snug block. Common wood. As long as I don't chop too many of them. Well, let's find... Oh, look at that. It's a little nudie... Oh, it looks like a nudie bronc, but... What kind of creature is that? It looks like a small mammal. It, it's a dog. Oh, now, Sylvia, I don't ask a lot of you, but I must insist you befriend this creature immediately. On my behalf. Please, just look at it. Look at its little snoot. Do whatever it takes, Sylvia. <laughs> if it likes us, maybe it will let us take a photo of it. Then I can put those photos in a special secret album just for me. Anyway, doesn't it seem like it wants something from you? Let's try and give it this little baby pigums whatever it wants to earn its trust. It wants a toy. Play? Try and guess the, crit the action the critter wants you to perform. If you perform enough correct actions over several days, it might become our friend. Oh, my, our friend. It wants to play. I think it's a belly rub. It showed it on his back. Yeah. Really? I liked it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was on his back. No, it wants to play. That's the play. It's cute and a little weird. I think it only needed one pair of ears. Does it only have one? I thought it only has one pair of ears. No, look. It has dog ear lumps. Oh, you're right. And then it has rabbit ears. Weird. If it just had the other ear, yeah, I don't know. I wonder if it, it's not one of those randomly generated I think animals, it is. is it? I think many of these, these things are going to be procedurally generated uh... to keep it feeling fresh and interesting. I suppose we'd have to look at our older playthrough to see what the equivalent of the dog was. Because I remember that she was fawning over another creature and saying the same exact things. Yeah. See, I, I think they have a lot of procedural generation. So while your playthrough of the game might largely be the same, it still feels distinct and different because, you know, the setting is different. Yeah, tail, tail colors, tails, colors, necks, paws, ears appear to be randomly chosen. Yeah, hmm. that's what I figured. I don't know. After some other games, I'm kind of fine with it. As long as the procedural generation isn't required to, like, make the game interesting. If it's purely just as, like, a backdrop thing, then I'm totally fine with it. I'm just thinking of games that, uh... What would be a good example? I think it's part of it is because the levels are so small and cozy, it kind of doesn't matter so much. Mm. It's when they get really big and it's just like, all right... This is, like, true level design, and it's just, like, empty and procedural generated. Mm -hmm. But, like, we already have some really interesting little bits. Obviously, we have the cave. We have whatever this structure is. Like, as long as you have enough uh, detail in the procedural generation, then it doesn't matter so much. Well, I have a plant growing there. Nothing right. there Things yet. only grow if I sing. Or not sing. I only get resources if I sing. No, that one looks sick. Oh, look, a little sweetie darling. A what? A baby snoogie woogie here. 
in the world we grew, a widow bubbly tum tum. Is this even language? Oh, but the perfect angel is sick from the withering. Hurry, Sylvia, scrub that file goo off this poor cutie patootie. I think the book wants you to clean the gunk off the unusual creature. Maybe that'll get it back on its feet and get her using actual words once more. Mm hmm. Oh my goodness, look at it. I'm in love with it. Oh, that doesn't work it. Fur friends forever. That'll take some time, though, apparently. Yeah. In the meantime, it's still going to just look kind of... Bubbly. Yeah. How's Biscuit doing? We haven't really interacted much with Biscuit. No, you're right. What's that? Some kind of anomaly. By the looks of it. What if you can leap into it? I don't know. Maybe. I. Because it's, it's the temptation is too strong. Whoa. Oh. Oh, okay. that's how to get back up, kind of. Air current. Oh no. Biscuit, why? B Biscuit got offended. We figured out we have discovered verticalism and Biscuit is getting jealous. <laughs> okay. Yep. Barp, 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 barp. Okay. Let's finish this up. How much do we have left? Not too much. Because I think we've come to the end of our time and boy, I'm getting hungry. What are the things that you say to animals? Uh, say don't. a cat or a dog. I don't, actually. You don't really say anything? Nope. Hey there, maybe. Usually what I do is I go, Hey, how are you? Look at you. Aren't you cute? True. You don't really do that. <laughs> no? No. I remember when you were doing that charity stream and I had the cat sitting on my lap. She would get startled every time you use the kazoos. Yep. And I'd go, what is that? Are they being noisy? Yes, they're very noisy. And then she'd just go back to sleep. <laughs> but nah. It's a shame they don't really understand what you're saying. I mean, I Unless think they, they have kind trained of do. commands. Yeah. Like, you can, you can absolutely have animals that understand you. It's just... Yeah, it, I think in particular with dogs and such, if you say, you know, it's time to go for a walk, they go, <gasps> walk yeah. time. But I think more so they build associations with mouth noises as opposed to, like, understanding full words. Mm-hmm. More the sounds. But isn't that... I... Hmm. The thing with us is, when we hear words, do you visualize the word in your head as you hear them um not really nah i suppose not do you remember a couple months ago there was a thing going around about like an apple and like how you imagine uh, an how apple? you can imagine apples and how like a bunch of people realize that the way that they they think about things is wildly different from other people mm-hmm um, well, mainly I was surprised to find that there are people that can't visualize things, whereas I can like, create a fairly me, photographic apple. I have to force apple, the issue. I can and... do it, but I'm normally not thinking of anything visually. Oh, you don't think of things visually weird? Not really, no. So if you say, like, think of an apple... Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I'll probably just think of like a super vague sense of what an apple is. But if you start describing the apple or like the style it's supposed to be, then I form the image. But until that's demanded of me, I... nothing. Mm -hmm. I, know, I know some people Whoa, that like... I just heard a bellow. What was that? Don't know. Don't tell me we have sky whales now. Or was that? I mean, it could have been biscuit. It could have been biscuit. I don't know if I can do anything with biscuit. I think the only way we can interact with biscuit around here is is down at the 
perch point? Probably. And oh. we still have it. Oh, wait, another one. Different uh -oh. color, though. Oh. Prettier. It looks at the <gasps> wait, sky. Wait, look at the face. Is it a budgie? Yeah, I think it has more of a budgie face. We'll see later. The skies. Yeah. Oh! Oh Holy my. moly! I knew I heard a whale. I was not expecting it to be... That big. massive. Woo! What? Woo! What? I wish we could get a closer look at it. And if Biscuit, you... take me closer. I want to make friends with the giant whale. Oh, there's nothing in here. Can you look out again? Is the whale gone? Or is it... Yeah, I think... It I mean, I think it was tree. just flying around. We'll be here and there. Hopefully oh. the game, like, recognize the, recognizes them in some way. For people that don't know, I knew I heard a big one of my biggest, I don't want to say, like, things in, like, a fantasy media is, like, space whales or sky whales. Like, there's some there's some kind of special magic to the idea of a, a space and or a sky whale. Mm-hmm. Well, it's because if you think about it, whales are so, they're just these large, immense entities that have these beautiful songs and means of communication and they're sociable and you know people can friendly and kind and I mean they can also be dangerous but yeah. some of them can be quite friendly and you don't really see them because you have to go out on a boat on the ocean and the ocean is dark and you probably can't really get a good visual on them and if you want to be among them you have to dive at which point, that's also dangerous, and you shouldn't really do that, unless they... I don't know. You see things where scientists are definitely photographing and interacting with whales. I really like this, by the way. Completing these objectives gives us, like, permanent perks. Mm. Some is loot, mm -hmm. but in that case, it increases our pickup radius. Which is actually really nice. Progression systems in games are important, and a lot of games just kind of miss that. And so by sneaking progression systems in these, well, now I want to get them all down because... Mm -hmm. But yeah, useful. sky whales... It, it takes the whales that most people would never be able to see or interact with, and in a fantasy setting, it makes them these giant friendly creatures that, you know, might fly by every once in a while. Yeah. Oh, there's another one of the weird piggy creatures. Mm-hmm. Oh. It doesn't like that. Now it wants to play. Oh, wait, is this the budgie? What did it want to do? Wait, what is that face? Is it a budgie face? You have to look at it. I... I can't tell. Does it just have puffy cheeks? But it's still a dog variety? I don't know. I might switch to uh, camera mode just to get a close-up. Yeah, I... Oh, it's a rabbit. Oh, it does have a it's rabbit It's a rabbit. Face. It's just got kind of the, the emo hair swoop. <laughs> and then... Hella cheeks. <laughs> Big poofy cheeks. It's making that squeaking noise. Bug, I think. Ah, yeah, oh, you're right. The little ones when they fly away. Oh. You're good to shake the tree? To have it release its fruit? Or no, yeah. that one doesn't have any fruit on it. That one doesn't. That one does. There you go. A rich drop. Bursting with vitamins. Do we 
have any others that are fruit laden? Really? Ah, uh, this one. Oh, yep, that one has some. Acid bearing. And then we get a couple of rocks I can break. There we go. If I already started turning the main character into a monster. Well, we gave her zombie eyes. <laughs> so, kind of, yeah. What do they look like in the light? Because I think we saw them in the darkness. See, they're much lighter out here. Let's... Here, that's not it. Oh, but... Dang it, caught us. They're blinking. Blink. Yeah, they're much lighter now. Eh, I'll still keep them. Mm -hmm. We're the undead. All right, let's get out of here. I don't know what we even need. But that's fine. I want to see more sky whales. Yeah. Fortunately, I don't. I don't see it flying around in the background. Mm -hmm. right. What the heck is this thing? I don't know. There's I a lot of stuff. We unlock more paths. Yeah. I mean, areas. every single day yeah. seems to give us something new. Mm-hmm. But for now, can I alchemy? Doesn't look like we have too much. Yeah, try to break down some extra items. Yeah. I think that's the extent of what I can do. Well, it's fine. For now, we sleep. The people are coming back, Kapotov. Yes, but doesn't that just mean our poor apprentice has even more to do? Well, yes, but it's also exciting. People here, well, not right here. Gathering materials, balancing the needs of the people with the needs of the tree, construction permits, labor disputes, mayoral elections, rogue weather events. We'd better get get a good night's sleep so we can support Sylvia even more tomorrow. Alright. Total things. Oh, and we get uh Incompleted Mayora. house complete. Yep. Yeah. Now that you're splitting your time between the tree and the city, dear. We thought you might find it useful if we collated a daily list of recent developments for you. Yes, world growth, building instruction, new residents, happy residents, unhappy residents, indifferent residents, things of that nature. Unhappy and indifferent ones? Oh no, we'll have to keep them all happy. <laughs> Maintaining residential happiness is essential. If your residents become dissatisfied, they'll eventually leave town. And then who will listen to Coppertop stories? Yes, quite. We're not going to be able to keep track of everything, mind you. We're somewhat limited in what we can see out of the windows of this house. But it ought to be enough to get you going in the right direction each day. Oh. So we can see badges completed, town happiness 4%. Ugh. Well, something to work on. That's housing worked out. What, what else do people need to live? Air holes in the lid and perhaps a handful of leaves in the jar to keep them occupied. Uh, you're thinking of grasshoppers, Coppertop. But you do raise a good point. People like grasshoppers need something to occupy their time. Otherwise, they'll just get bored and eat each other. Uh, again, like your grasshoppers. We don't want that. We should build them somewhere else to go. A zoo? A shop? What's the person equivalent of some leaves in the jar? Book? How can we make this place nice for people? Oh, I really wanted to get to... to decorating houses. I uh, we might be able to, but we'll just have to save that for next time. We built a house. We did. We did. And we cleared out some space to I make mean, a neighborhood. I can very quickly see what's going on. How do we how do we actually warp to the town? Sylvia, have you visited with Dear Biscuit recently? I'm sure they would benefit from some one on one time. Biscuit puts on a brave face, but we're all processing the withering's presence in our own way. Why don't you see if there's anything you can do for them? Yes, it's wise to ensure you have a strong bond with the person who regularly carries you hundreds of meters into the air. Exactly. Biscuit spends their downtime at the roof, Sylvia. Go see them when you get the chance. Okay. Yeah, we need to see Biscuit. Okay. I... Uh, one way or another. Uh, let's see. How long have we been going for? Can we see... Plenty of time. 
Can we see Biscuit? All right, time to go hug a Biscuit. Biscuit! Biscuit. Hello! You were so like, why would we name this thing Biscuit? But it's like the perfect name. It is cute. How do I interact with it? They want food. Oh, interact, there we go. Feed. Feed. BFFs, care for Biscuit. Feed Biscuit. Oh, now they want cuddles though. Cuddle. Oh, just get lost I still feel in all like we fur. should you should just disappear into its bulk. <laughs> there we are. Here's the town. Is that a new building? Why don't we go and investigate? Wait. I mean you have the inn and you have the house. It's true. Okay, well let's take a look at the inn real quick. Those rocks cleared, some of them are. But we don't have anyone there. Wait, it says Kathleen's in. I don't think I can do anything about it. Ah. Ooh. Uh. Uh. So it doesn't look like we can change the interior, just the exterior. I see. Oh. I think I'd want to wait. Mm-hmm. So we can also add tokens for more worker slots. Ah, interesting. Well, do you want to go over to the house and... Yeah. Well, we didn't actually put any bling on that house. We just looked at it, but we it's just... fine. Mm -hmm. What does it give us? More eyeballs more wallpaper. More eyeball wallpaper? Ugh. Oh, no. I mean, at the same time, I do like the idea of a really freaky, weird town. Wait, is that mushroom? Cute yeah, cute mushroom, mushroom wallpaper. wallpaper. Oh, I thought we were going to be able to go inside. Ah, I was hoping so too. But no, I, I think a lot of this is going to be somewhat surface level. Maybe that's okay. So we have red, we have leafy. I feel like, I, I like the red. red. Yeah, I like red. Skirting color. Red and the dark green. Or the mushrooms. Oh, the mushrooms get cut off though. I like that. I just want to look at everything else. Wait, where would that Wait, go? Is there a way to move the camera? Because the big problem is I want to see what this would do. Flower oh, pots. that's for the flower pots. Pleasant, charming, delightful. Token. Well, we could also add a resident slot so she gets a roommate. The walls are just so short. Yeah, I think above. I'm going to leave that alone. Yeah, but the skirting, see. like, that isn't terrible. Let's just leave it a little Is bit this? bare for now. We'll yeah, find until other we houses. find some more, like, pure colors. I think we'd see it more here, but I don't think mm -hmm. either of those would really work. But I like the red roof. Yeah. It gives it kind of a toadstool look. Mm hmm. But it does. Okay. Well, now we've figured out what happens with all the wallpapers. Yeah. Oh, oh, wait. What about the lanterns? Can we put them in town? Um, yes. So, build decor. So I can put hanging lamp posts all over the place. Uh, yeah, turning it outwards. See, I was going to get two. No, no, no. You don't want to... We don't have that many of them. Why don't we just have one outside each building for now? Just so that everyone has a light. Okay. So, like this? Yeah. But there? Well, unless you wanted to go go over the path a little bit. Like that? No. No, 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 no. Not like that. Maybe over here? Off to the side. Yeah. Or maybe kind of on the edge. I don't know how far to light, but... Let's do that. I think we might be able to pick them up, too. Yeah. I can pick it up and move it. Ah, uh, okay. That's good. Yep. Okay, so now that that's in, I think we're good. We have all these stalls all, all over the place, but I don't I know. I think what to it'll do with eventually them. become more of a market or. Yeah. We have plenty of benches over there. Oh. That on the right. 
I don't know. It looks Here, like a... I'm going to open this up and then we can go take a look at it. The remnants of something old. Oh, shoot. You don't have enough Myora for it. Yeah, we don't have enough. You're right. Yeah, what's this? A bridge. Oh. Oh, I like the chime sounds. Oh, an Everkid! Oh, no fair! Well, you found one Everkid. So that was what was making the tingling noise. Yep. Okay. Oh, it's more bugs. Mm hmm. Looks like it kind of keeps going up here. Wow. This town is, uh. surprisingly big. Though. that area is definitely decidedly yeah. purple. A generous puff. You can't hop on those mushrooms, can you? Maybe. It looks like a jump spot. It does look like a jump spot. It might be a jump spot. Oh. Oh, wow. Animal statue altar. So what are the animals? Do we have rabbit? Yeah, rabbit, owl, owl, fox, wolf, dog, and... Oh, no, that one... That's some kind of beast Coyote or... Thing. The, I don't know. And we've also got this here. It kind of doubles back a bunch. Ooh. Um, Wait, are you... Okay. Well, then, you that can't swim. That explains some things. I was like, why are we just walking down here? This has become decidedly unsafe. Well, either way, I think I'm going to hold off an exploration for at least a little while. Mm -hmm. No. So, that's fun, and you'll be able to save and start the next day. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, this well, I mean, is this the, is next, the next day. day. <laughs> this is the next day. We've been goofing for a little while. Um, yeah, it's probably fine. Mm -hmm. All right. Anyway, with all of that said, we've got a little over time for the sponsored stream, but that's totally, that's totally okay. Mm -hmm. I'm sure they're not complaining. Uh, but last thing before we go is that, uh, so Grow the Ever Tree is out on Steam now. I think, I don't actually, they never sent me a price tag for it. Uh, Grow Song of the Ever Tree is 30 bucks. Yeah, that's fair. I guess it's actually down to 22, 2250 for release. Is it 30? No, it's 25 on Steam, probably 30 for Switch. Mm, I would mm -hmm. assume. Okay, and I think we've seen, like, a decent chunk of the game, the world's rejuvenation system. I haven't seen a whole lot of crafting beyond what we've already yeah, seen. We've... I know Copper Top has some kind of alchemy system that we could do later, but I don't know what that's going to be. Because we've been able to break down items into essences, but we haven't been able to put those together. Except for, for town-based stuff. So I'm mm. curious to see what there is. We've seen a couple of the unique NPCs to meet. We haven't really done the whole build relationships with, because we've got to get them... Like, do quests and get stars. Yeah, and, maybe and talk about their them. stats, too. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Gosh, what else is there? No, that's pretty much all of it. But yeah, so if any of you guys are interested in picking this game up, I've already seen a couple of you guys uh, talking about playing this uh, just kind of idly as we, we played it as well. I like that little frondy thing in the corner. That looks really nice. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, we'd seen it, but as far as pause menu art goes, that's actually really nice and really subtle. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, so it's on Steam now, on, on Steam, and I think on the Switch. And it's a lovely little kind of chore simulator, life sim game. I I want to come up with a better name for this genre, but I guess life sim is probably the best. But it's also probably, uh, speaking of the best, I like this setting so much more than you most of them. You wouldn't consider it a town management game? Kind of, but you're not really doing town management most of the time. It sounded like we were going to have to be more involved in it's satisfying true. the people in the town. Yeah, I don't know. Well, either way, with all of that said, this was fun. I'm going to do a more official outro for the actual videos, but... Eh.